Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tony Fergie. I want to take the time out to thank all my subscribers. The old ones, the new ones, the ones that just keeps coming back because you love what you hear and what you're singing. Now, if you're not subscribed yet, why aren't you? Guys, today we are going in Toronto, Canada. Yes, Toronto, Canada. So, allegedly, a uh, famous DJ that's out there, his name is DJ Fireblacks. Not sure how true the story is, because, you know, rumors spread really quickly, more than the truth. However, I did look up the news. I did not find anything in the Canadian news. I didn't find anything as far as police of anything or any police report or anything like that. So, all of this is just based on um, different, I think Diaspora News covered it, and different bloggers. So, here we go. So apparently, DJ Fire Blacks is arrested for spreading HIV to multiple women. He knew he had HIV, and of course, I guess he slept with all these women. And someone went into his bathroom while visiting his home and saw his medication. Y'all... Ladies, please take heed and listen up. Listen to what my sister from um, African Diaspora, that she reported, and then we're going to come back and we're going to talk about it. Anyways, We have let's a go. Jamaican man who's very well known in the reggae dance hall scene here in Toronto. He goes by the name of DJ Fire Blacks. His government name is Marlon Wilson. This man knowingly infected several women with HIV. He had been diagnosed with HIV, which has since transitioned to full-blown AIDS. And he was out here on the streets, fula lying with several women, from older women to younger women. He was an equal opportunity offender, or I should say infector of this virus. Take a look at a clip of him promoting one of his parties. He's look. Watch ya. Are the blackest man alive? My name Fire Blacks. I'm an earth strong. This coming Saturday. This Saturday. Gemini Lico. I'm a bird day. I'm a earth day. See me have the ticket to me. My fans, my people, they are begging on the support. I beg on please and thanks. $25 ticket. Them are go. Please. On a call me for them now. So let me talk about how it came to be that this whole information came out and went viral about him. And all of these women now are rushing to get tested. Okay, guys, what did you think? Now, there is so much wrongs in this story. First of all, first of all, ladies, you know you are messing with a man that is supposedly quote unquote a person that's out there. If he's a DJ Fire, DJ Fire Blacks, whatever he is, you're messing with him. Why aren't you using a condom? That's number one. Number two, not sure, not sure why that happened, but he's on medication. A lot of these pharmaceutical companies, if you know closely, Big Pharma, they will turn around and give you all these wonderful things that if you're taking these medications, is a, you know, you will not be able to pass these things on. Look closely at the commercials. You don't know what he was told as far as his medication was concerned. Now, side effects is one thing, but what he was told while taking these medications is a whole different ball game. Now, let's continue. As far as, I'm not trying to offend him at all, not even for a second, but... Ladies, you meet someone of, I'm guessing that caliber per se, of a person who's out there, the lifestyle is out there, and you have now made the decision to lay down. Now, it's both persons' responsibility. Don't get me wrong. The man have a responsibility, yes, to let this young lady know that, hey, this is what I have or whatever the case is, or vice versa. Now that he chose not, he chose not to, you know, to let them know that, hey, this is what it is. And he continues. 
I don't know if he thought his pill was going to protect him or he forgot. I don't know. Don't want to make excuses for anyone. But you're meeting someone and you're sleeping with them and you're not using a condom. It's both people's responsibility. I am so sorry, but it's both responsibility. He's obligated or he's not obligated. I'm not sure on that note. However, if you guys hook up at a club, at a party or after party or whatever, and I mean, anyone who's in heat, they're going to stop and say, hey, I have, you know, but, and of course, it's not going to be long-term relationships from what is being told because of all the multiple women. Now, this young lady that went to the bathroom and decided to search his cabinet, <laughs> child, she went in there on a search and boy, did see she search and she found. Now, that's a search and find for you. Now, that's like a whole mouthful. Listen, I don't know who that sister was, but girl, you should have checked that bathroom before. You should have went in there and said, you know, let me go wash up and go search the bathroom. Not after. Search it before. Now, guys, just be careful out there. I can't stop saying just be mindful, be careful. And it's not just the, the women. Now, men also, because the women, I don't think they're going to tell you either. So, yeah. Anyways, even if you use a condom, you still doing other things that can cause you to have stuff, you know, down there, you know, mm -hmm. anyways, y'all, please have a wonderful, awesome and magnificent day and know that Tony loves and I appreciate y'all. Now, thank you guys for coming back and listen, this weekend, we're going to have an absolute blast. So next week I have some goodies coming up y'all mm, mm, mm. road trip to the world and back now y'all please comment below let me know what you guys think of this story please let me know whose responsibility it is to notify the other person whether or not they are hiv positive this is truly amazing that this is coming up it never left don't forget that guys because for some reason something else come up and something else come up and then it took away so people stopped thinking about hiv but it's still out there they may have medications that mask you know the symptoms or to make you not know that a person have hiv i remember back in the day when someone had hiv you would know because they have all these sores or all these stuff on their face and then people that had acne had a very difficult time dealing with things because people used to think that oh people with hiv have sores on their face no it's not and now it's like all these medications that pharma came out with, big pharma came out with, now covers up a lot of those side effects and symptoms or, you know, all of that. Now, anyways, y'all, not trying to go too deep or too wide or <laughs> too anything. We just going to keep it on the surface and just stick with DJ Fire Black's story. Anyways, y'all have an awesome, wonderful day once again. And this is Tony. Fergie, and I love and appreciate y'all.